Welcome to Chris Cook Photography. Today I'm going to tell you about how I made a 120 inch projector screen on a budget. Here's the screen here, it's 120 inches in a horizontal. Um, they come in like a white satin finish and I painted this with a matte grey from um, Wix. I think it was called Willow Grey, it's about 35% grey. If you imagine 100% is black and 50% is mid grey, I could say this is probably about 35%. It just helps with the um, contrast. So um, I did try it before it was painted and it's nice and bright but I just find the uh, black's a bit too grey. I use this with an Optima projector, which is down here. It's a 4K short throw projector. I've got it in this wooden box at the moment on wheels because um, I don't want to accidentally kick it. Um, yeah, it's been really good so far. It was about 1,600 quid in the sale. It was originally 3,000, but um, I got it like Black Friday last year. Um, I use this room as a home photography studio as well as a cinema. I'm just going to back up a little bit. But what I basically do is I'll have subjects stand in front of the screen and then project like the uh, backdrop of an office if I'm doing like a corporate headshot or if I'm just doing some kind of cinematic photography with uh, sort of TFP models, I'll use this piece of Perspex here um, spray some water on it and then have the model stand behind it and then have like a cinematic backdrop whether that be like a, a film noir kind of one, sci-fi and um, what I'll do, I'll add some images to the end of this video so you can see how I use it but it's, um, yeah, it's a dual purpose studio really because I love my movies as well so um, I've got some sort of fold away seats which go on the floor for so when we're having a movie night and then I can easily take them out when I'm doing some work like for a photo shoot. So also, what else can I tell you about? I've got these boom arms um, to hold the lights on. They were from Amazon and um, they're newer ones and I think the pair cost me about £100. So they're pretty good. The studio's still a bit of a work in progress. Um, but yeah, it does the job. It's about four meters square. It's not the biggest studio, but it, um, it's fine for headshots and some sort of waist up photography. Still got a few things I want to do in here and add. So you have to excuse me. This gimbal I'm getting a bit used to still on my phone. But um, yeah, I'll just get a piece of the material. So this is what foam board is. This particular version I use is three millimeters thick. Um, and you use that because I run a print business as well. I tend to mount large format prints to it. So for example, a table plan for a wedding would get mounted to this and then go on an easel. But um, yeah, there's a few versions. You get one called Foamex, but there's some cheaper versions where it's almost corrugated on the inside. You don't want that. You want this one, which has got like a foam core all the way through. So I got this from uh, Maidstone Trade Trade Sign Supplies because that's my sort of local sign supplier. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's working well. The screen itself, I mean, I didn't want to spend up fifteen hundred quid on the ALR screen because um, I don't really use it in the day anyway. And yeah, I've seen some other normal screen options on Amazon and the internet in general, which are like anything from 500 quid up to 1500. But this works so well that I can't really see myself replacing it. I've actually mounted this one on the canvas frames because I was going to put some LED lights behind it. But um, my first attempt at it, I used a 100 inch version and I just put it flat straight on the wall. So you can do either really. Um, When I do use this as a uh, background for my photo shoots, I tend to shoot with a wide aperture to put the background out of focus just to help with that added bit of realism. 
And I use these two video lights that I have. These are also about 200 pounds from Amazon and they're not bad, pretty good value. Wouldn't mind getting some color changing ones. At the moment I shoot with a Nikkor 85 mm f1.4 and a Tan 135mm f1.4. They're both really sharp lenses. I do love the uh, Nikkor 85, it's a bit of a classic that one. The total cost for this build was it's £40 for the screen and then I think the paint was 10 to £15 so it's cost me 50 quid. Um, I did go to the length of painting the room a very dark grey just to help with light bounce. But yeah, it's been great. It's a, uh, it's a, call it a budget setup, but it doesn't perform like budget. It performs better. One more thing as well. If you do want to set up a cinema on a budget and want some great surround sound, this uh, Mission sound system here was sort of the one of the best systems for 800 pounds back in the day. I think this was sort of like around 2007 or so. But um, yeah, you can pick these up now for about 125 quid on eBay or Marketplace. And I'm pretty blown away by the, how they perform. I know we always want the latest and greatest, but these sort of five cube speakers are amazing. I almost felt like buying a second set for my studio because they're such good value what you can get them for now. I've got it connected up to my old Onkyo receiver at the moment. These are four ohm speakers and the Onkyo is technically six ohms recommended. But um, this still works excellent. Anyhow, that's uh, all for today. But uh, yeah, I'll add some pictures now at the end of this video so you can see how it gets used and what results I get off it. Here's my lovely friend Nicola West. You can find her on Instagram under Nicola West. Um, this was using a Perspex screen with uh, some some sprayed water and then the projected background out of focus. Here's a little video here of the process. Um, this was for a black and white one on this occasion. And coming up now is a sort of Blade Runner inspired shot. Um, and also to follow this, I've got a couple of corporate headshot examples so this kind of projects that they're in like a, a posh office um client was quite quite happy with this and i've got one more from a lady with a similar background as well so i've just done another one actually i'll be sharing them photos on my website soon but um yeah here's a uh, one more of the background well a background um please subscribe if you like my content as i'll be posting quite regularly all the best.